Um, honestly, in that situation, it felt like it was the right pitch. Yeah. But talking to Coach Hobbs, we said we'd probably kind of go with a change up there. Mm-hmm. But you know, at the end of the day, I sell out to whatever pitch they call. Yeah. And I was confident in it. Yeah. And he hit a good pitch. Yeah. The, uh, uh, what, what went well against TCU the other night? It looked like you were throwing almost all fastballs. Yeah, I was throwing all fastballs. I mixed in one change up. Yeah. And then uh, my slider was actually really good. I was very happy with how that was working out, but I mean, when my fastball feels good, I feel like I'm, I'm untouchable. How much were you feeding off of what had happened the innings before? Not only that game, but you had Isaiah the night before, mm-hmm. Cronin got all three out, and then of course Wicklander and, and Scroggins had done well. I mean, I think that just goes back to the culture. I mean, all of us, when everyone's firing in all cylinders, I think you have to also. I mean, you just, you don't want to be left out, and I think that's exactly what happened. I mean, we just... We were never down in that region. Yeah. So I think everyone was just ready to go and prove everyone wrong. Like, hey, we mean business. Yeah. When you face a team as many times as, as you guys collectively had faced Ole Miss, mm-hmm. how much do you think about tendencies and maybe how well they know you, your, your pitching style? Does, does that go into the preparation at all? I mean, you have to think about it a little bit. I mean, like, Zay's thrown against them um, multiple times, I think. Yeah. But, I mean... When it gets to starters, yeah, but as a relief pitcher, you're just going to kind of go in there and do what you do best. If you try to mix it up too much, you're probably not going to have your best outing. Yeah. But uh, I think that if we can go in there and just play our best game, we have a really good shot. Yeah. Isaiah's actually played against him twice. That's what I thought. And one of them was in 2016. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah appreciate it, man. No Thank problem. You. Hey, what's up, Jake? How you doing? Hey, good, man. First of all, congrats. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the similarities between you and Jack because I believe you said on Twitter you guys were roommates at one time, maybe as freshmen here. Kind of take us back to that and how fitting it is that you guys went in the same round. Yeah, I mean, growing up, uh, I didn't know anyone from Tennessee, so I got to my freshman room, and uh, my roommate happened to be Jack Kenley. And um, I didn't know him going in. I didn't know anything about him. But uh, he's turned out to be one of my best friends, and uh, I'm happy for him. I'm sure you've been asked this a thousand times already maybe today, but uh, take us back to when you had the inflammation today or, excuse me, earlier this season and just kind of how you, you know, embrace that journey to bounce back because it, it also kind of speaks to collectively how you've had to sort of, you know, drive yourself up the ladder in terms of this program and, and be more visible in terms of getting more of a pitching role. Yeah, I mean, it was a rough patch for me. I was really upset when I went down with the injury. Uh, it wasn't anything I could have prevented, but I think when – I went down and I saw the state of our team. I was really ready to get back. I mean, when you lose a guy in the pen, it hurts. And we saw that when Cody went down. And we saw it last year when Matt went down with pneumonia or or whatever, mono. I mean, it's just rough. So, I mean, when something like that happens, it just, it feels a fire to get back. One final one, the emotion I saw from you there as you closed the deal there against TCU. We saw Jake Rydell last year. He kind of had that emotion after situations like that. But it also speaks to this time of year you're hanging on every pitch and there's so many big moments how have you really approached that i mean i approach every moment like it's just another pitch but when you get to send your team to a super regional it it feels pretty good so i mean i try to keep my emotions bottled up on the mound but i mean once you get to a moment like that it's kind of hard to keep them inside even more so kind of to that bullpen role as well oh exactly as a bullpen pitcher you come in some some dicey situations, or it can be intense. I mean, it just happens. Thanks, man. That's no problem. Yeah, again, does that kind of give you guys any edge at all, or are you just ready to play them again and try and even out the series? I mean, honestly, I think if we just treat them like another opponent, we'll play our best game. Uh, if we try to be like, you know, all stressed out, like, oh, it's Ole Miss, it'll create a, an atmosphere we don't need in the clubhouse. So I think if we just go out there and play loose, I'll give us our best chance. Those early game times, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I, I just like the plays. I mean, you, you tell me when, I'm out there. <laughs> yeah. uh, getting drafted, what was, what was your thought? Um, all years of hard work had finally paid off. Uh, it's been a long time coming for me. Uh, I didn't get drafted out of high school, so that didn't really count for me. Uh, but, I mean, I've been working for a moment like that since six years old. So. It was pretty surreal. I'm very happy about it, and uh, I'm ready to play this weekend. First phone call, who'd you call after you got it? Uh, my parents. It was my dad first, and then my mom. And uh, it's pretty emotional, happy. Is it kind of crazy to think that you know, where, what 
how you did the last two years to have a season like this and then to end it in the draft. I mean, is it kind of surreal to think about? Yeah, I mean, it's always what I wanted to do. I mean, when I think about how I did the last two years here, I mean, it's not exactly what I wanted. But um, I'm happy that I was able to do what I did this year and continue on doing. But, I mean, to end it with the draft is pretty sweet. Uh, you, you obviously, everyone talked about the starting pitching that you got last week, uh, last in the, in the regional. Uh, but the bullpen was also pretty solid. I mean, what do you make of the bullpen right now and how you all are kind of clicking? Uh, I think that as a bullpen, we're just pretty confident who we are. I mean, we we have guys who've made starts. you got Cronin, who's been the closer for the last two years. And you've got guys who are playing roles that we didn't know they were going to play at the beginning of the year. So I think right now everyone's just kind of meshing into the role that we need them to. And... When you look at our bullpen as a whole, it's pretty darn good. One of those guys is Scroggins. He came here as an infielder. Yeah, Tommy John. Uh, what do you make of the season he's had and kind of how he's his journey to get to this point? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, Cody's one of the my favorite guys on the team, and to see him go from because I was here when he was an infielder, to see him go from a pitcher who ended up going down to doing the role he's doing now is awesome. I mean, he made six starts in the year, and then now he's helping us out in the bullpen. And it's huge.